Hello. In our last video, we spoke about the new the newly released Content Hub and what were some of its new features. Uh, we also talked about how Content Hub is a unique blend of CMS Hub and Marketing Hub, uh, centralizing all the tools that you could possibly need for content creation and management. Uh, it is also powered by AI so that it makes life of us content marketers easy. Uh, in this video, we'll just quickly go through some of the, my some of my favorite features uh, related to content creation that come with Content Hub. Uh, let's jump to the portal to see some of those. I will start with the AI blog generator. So, in essence, based on the prompts you give, you can go over here, generate blog post. You can share a basic idea that you have about the blog. You may, you you don't not you do not need to do this research from the scratch. Say for instance you have an idea. For example, I want to write a blog about five strategies to ace content marketing. Now originally I would have to think for hours about this blog. I would have to do my research, my keyword research, build build the blog myself, then SEO optimize it. But through AI blog post generator, it does that all in just a click. So all that research that you would have to do originally is being done by AI already. And there you go. As I said, monthly search volume, difficulty to rank, keyword intent. Say I pick this blog, I hit next. It will create a blog post outline, which I am free to edit because naturally you shouldn't give AI all the power, right? You should ideally be editing things yourself because a human touch is always required. It looks good to me for now. Just for demo purpose, I'll hit generate blog post. It takes a second. It's it's super fast. And there you go. It created a full fledged blog for me just within a few clicks. And it also suggested an image. I didn't have to create this. I will still show you how you can create AI, how, like, how AI can generate images for you, which was going to be my next feature. Um, you can just go to Featured Image over here and ask AI to generate it for you. You can describe what sort of image you'd like or because this was this blog was generated by AI as well, we'll just let AI do the thing. We had generated, it already described what sort of image um, would go with the blog. And now we can see AI creating some images for us that we can use as feature images for our blogs. Now we can change the style of the image if we want to use, we can change the dimensions if we want it landscape, portrait, or square. And that was it. Also, um, another thing, the third feature that I want to talk about today is post narration. Now, I haven't updated my template yet, but if you just hit generate over here, it will um, create a narration transcript based on the blog that you wrote. And well, AI yeah, wrote in this case. And when you just hit play, it will just start narrating your blog. And it really is a great feature when you think about it from an accessibility point of view. Um, so this was it. On to my next feature, which is AI translations. I'll just hit save to this blog. And if you, so uh, again, from an accessibility point of view, uh, you would like to cater to multiple people with multiple languages, right? There would be your audience doesn't necessarily belong from one demogra demographic. Um, some people could be in different countries speaking different languages. In that case, you would want to cater to them by publishing content with different languages. But it is quite tiresome, right? It's 
it's not something that you can dedicate resources to. So if you hit more over here and go to create multi-language variation, you can just uh, pick whatever language you want to choose, whatever language you want to publish your content um, for, say for French, AI translate, And then that was quite quick, wasn't it? Um, and that was it for that feature. On to my next feature, I have content remix. Say for instance, um, well, honestly, content remix is my favorite feature of Content Hub so far. Um, again, you would want to, with all the channels that we have available at this point, you you would not want to just stick to one piece of content. You would want to repurpose it to be posted on probably socials or emails or landing pages and stuff like that. So since AI did a really good job, hold on, sorry. Since AI did a really good job at creating this blog post, I want to take it to the next step and repurpose this content. I go to content, then remix. I'll start remixing. I'll pick the blog that AI just generated for us, add content. And after that, hit the plus sign to select the sort of uh, content I want to remix it to. Take so socials, I'll take landing page and I'll take, you know, hit next, generate. And we can see slowly these con these pieces of content popping up. You can always just uh, click on them individually to edit them if you want to. And that was it. On to my next feature. I have, con oh, sorry, podcast on my list next. Be with the inclusion of podcast into this as well, it really talks about how uh, HubSpot is trying to include all the pieces of content into one tool, which makes it very streamlined. You don't have to keep hopping through multiple tools. Um, everything is under one belt. Say, let's create a podcast episode together. So we run this podcast, not exactly podcast, but we run this flow talk show internally. Um, wherein we post uh, videos of our internal inter so like we basically interview our in-house marketers, RevOps specialists, sales uh, specialists, and so on. And we talk about um, emerging trends and what are people talking about and stuff like that. So I'll just go with that for now. And you can either upload your existing audio or you can let AI do the thing for you. Hey, for instance, I just write, hey, welcome to our podcast. I can select the voice. Whatever I want, I can select that. Next up, generate audio. Next. There are a bunch of details that you need to fill, um, and you also need to fill up who's going to be the host, what is the podcast about, and things like that. And you'll have a podcast published wide under HubSpot. Um, and that was it for Hub, for the podcast. On to my last feature of this video, which is Brand Voice. We know that we had brand kits uh, where we could include our branding, branding logos, colors um, of our brand onto HubSpot. But now you can also include Brand Voice. Um, you can do that by going to settings, account defaults, head to branding. So many you have my brand kit over here. And you'll see the brand voice right over here. Generate brand voice. Over here you can um, present, like you can copy one of your writing samples and AI will break it down and say what sort of tone we follow. I mean, tone your brand follows. Um, for example, I wrote this blog on uh, 
creating um, content creation by Content Hub. I'll just copy this. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll paste this over here and the type of sample. It is a blog post. My target audience. Oh, can't select this for some reason. Okay. Marketers. RevOps specialists. content creators, and I'll just let that be for now. Hit next. Well, we'll let AI do its thing and analyze our sample, and it will, there you go. It showed us the personality that we follow with our content, the tone, and feel free to edit it. You can always just add more characteristics to this if you do not agree with these and done and that was it uh i feel like the all the features in the content hub are super helpful i my favorite feature would have to be content remix but let me know what is yours in the comments below thank you for watching